Well, new at six, a popular Ackworth antique shop evicted earlier this year, according to its owners, has now found a new spot. So thanks so much for joining us at six o'clock. I'm Faith Jesse. And I'm Savannah Levin. So back in June, the owners of what was then called Two LaRue Antiques said the landlord evicted them with 60 days notice to make space for a multi-purpose building. 11 Lies Palo Zero takes us to Ackworth Vintage and Vinyl, where the owners are hoping Christmas brings some business. For nearly 10 years, an antique store was sitting right here in the heart of Main Street in Ackworth. Earlier this year, they were forced to move out of this 10,000 square foot location. Now they're just down the road, consolidated to 1,700 square feet and making the most out of every inch of space. We miss everything that that was, and now we're looking forward to everything this is going to be. New year, new name, and new space, but not by choice for Lisa Mack and Ryan Blinkenberger. Took out sinks, did, you know. We replaced tile, replaced the ceiling. What was formerly a salon is now Ackworth Vintage and Vinyl, a hip antique store that for 10 years called this other building home. He made it through the pandemic, and now they're surviving an eviction too, according to the owners. Yeah, it was pretty horrible, was, to be was, honest. It was rough. No, it, it actually, I don't, we're still not really over it. I mean, we did a lot of growing there. I really felt like we were bringing something to com the community and we're hearing there's hardly any traffic down there now because, we, I mean, we do believe we were bringing business to the city. They say back in June, they were given a 60 days notice to move out in order to build a multi-purpose building. That meant finding a new home for all of this. Even if it's just up the street, you know, there's just an expense to everything. And of course, you can imagine the magnitude of what we had left there with 10,000 square feet than we do now. 20% made it inside the new building with the rest waiting in storage. So they're looking for a potential second spot in Ackworth. The departure was very sad for us. We put our Blood, sweat, and tears into that, but we'll do no less here. Doesn't matter how big or small it is. We're, we're excited to be amongst our community and do good stuff. Their old location appears to be sitting empty right now. And while they lost the old space, they gained new customers, many who they hope will spread the word and take advantage of their Christmas sales and live bands on some weekends. Uh, about five or six local bands going to be out here in the parking lot. I think this is a good new chapter for us and for Ackworth. Paula Soro, 11 Alive News.